Hey guys, this is Hunter Hayes. You're watching My Long Island on Fios One. Today is uh, Long Island's first, in fact, New York's first kosher barbecue championship. Uh, there's never been such an event, and we're delighted to have it here at Tampa Beth Torah. The two main purposes are first, to have fun, and secondly, to help some hunger relief charities. So the tie in is sort of uh, very nice, and uh, in the end, we're doing good for everybody. Fairway Market has generously uh, become our title sponsor for this event, and we have uh, dozens of other sponsors who are helping us. And collectively, uh, we hope to. Uh, have everybody go away uh, not only having fun but also with the charities uh, having what they need to support their cause. In Memphis, Tennessee, uh, there is the World Kosher Barbecue Championship which has existed for 20 plus years and uh, when uh, one of my colleagues, Marvin Rembo, uh, visited Memphis last uh, September, he came back and said, why not Long Island? And clearly, if they can do it in Memphis, we can do it even bigger on Long Island. There are 18 teams competing today. Uh, they'll be competing for best beef ribs, best brisket, best beans, best booth decoration, best team name. One of the basic laws of Kashrath is that you can't mix meat and dairy products uh, in the same meal. So this event is strictly a meat affair. We've been here since uh, Thursday night. Um, ensuring that all the all the food products have a, an appropriate kosher certification on them. Uh, first of all, kosher is not a rabbi blessing the food. I've heard a lot of people say that, hey, rab there's a rabbi bless the food and make it kosher. That is not what kosher is. So for an ama to me to be kosher, it has to be a kosher animal, and then the animal has to be slaughtered kosher. If an animal is not slaughtered kosher, even though the animal was kosher, like a cow or a lamb, it's still not kosher because it was not slaughtered properly. As opposed to the United States law, where if you have 98% of your ingredients listed and 2% can be not listed, we need to know 100% what is inside. And therefore, kosher is considered the most trusted in terms of food products by everyone if they want real food and they want really to eat the best of their, their own health. We signed up the day it opened, um, and the real um, icing on the cake for us was this is our temple where we um, where we grew up going and still go, and so we're I guess one of the two home teams here. So it's a little bit of uh, extra special. It's a great cause. There are great charities being supported. It's the first of its kind in this area, and I thought it was a great idea when I heard about it. Everybody today has been asked to bring a healthy. And uh, nutritious food item and we, our volunteers today are collecting it and it's being packed up. We've collected over 300 food items already and it's going to be on its way to the food pantry shortly. The sponsor who is already being held probably by a social service agency or the government but there's never enough until the next check comes in. So we fill in that little blank which is very important so that they don't have to eat just peanut butter or macaroni and cheese. The Inn is a not-for-profit agency which serves the hungry and homeless on Long Island. Uh, we have a network of 16 soup kitchens across the island in 22 locations as well as additional programs that help our guests to get back on their feet and out of the cycle of poverty into a world of self-sufficiency. We're a beneficiary from the event and we're also competitors. We're really excited to be here. Um, we are showcasing our volunteers cooking talents uh, from the Mary Brennan Inn, which is our largest soup kitchen and the largest on Long Island. Um, and we also have two managers from the soup kitchen here. So we are excited to show everybody what, you know, what our volunteers can do. Oh, we're cooking brisket, we're cooking beef ribs. We're also, uh, we just cooked up some baked beans. Uh, they're very, very good. Hopefully we win. Um, I learned a lot about kosher food today. Well, this whole entire process. Um, would I go to, towards kosher food? Yes, I would. Because it tastes better. It literally does taste better. I can tell you that it's, it's a lot fresher than, than any other types of cut meat and stuff that, I, that I've tasted. So I, I would just say the freshness of it. It's beef barbecue. You know, there's Texas, you got beef barbecue. You go in the south, you got a lot of swine. But, you know, I think beef is more challenging to cook. You get a lot more connective tissue, a lot more fat that you really have to work through and it's a it's a challenge but it pays off beef ribs will kill pig ribs any day of the week we came up from atlanta um, we compete uh, around the country uh, we actually have our own event in atlanta in october and uh, we've actually been working with the team here and those other places to start the kosher barbecue circuit we are a uh, a, a first-time team of barbecuers uh, 
Three of us are from Merrick, Craig is from Plainview, and we decided, we found out about the contest and knew we had to be involved, and uh, it's been a great experience. It's been a lot of fun. We all love to cook, and we've all had a dream of wanting to be in a barbecue competition, and especially the fact that this is all kosher allows us to uh, be able to participate and enjoy it. <laughs> Heaven. We're pretty much judged on uh, appearance, then taste and tenderness. Uh, with the ribs, also something that can fall off the bone, that you know wasn't able, you weren't able to like, you know, cut with your teeth and chew and all that. Uh, so we're looking for something that's just very tasty, something that you would be able to enjoy at home uh, and have your friends over. So that's what we're looking for. Things have really changed over the last 20 years in the world of kosher, and uh, you know what what's out there now is just unbelievable. I mean, the uh, the gastronomy of of, of the kosher. Uh, culinary world has really uh, developed to a point where um, you know you can't tell a difference and and I think uh, you know you could see that you know perfect example is today what you see here in the barbecue that's being prepared I mean the product is as good as any uh, local barbecue uh, place within uh, within the region and so uh, you know it's it's really uh, a really exciting time in the, in the kosher world especially the kosher culinary world <laughs>